the off the grid guy. This is uh, one day and counting till I'm off the grid, hopefully. Uh, my friend and I are taking the trip out to actually see the trailer for the first time, trying, trying to get you guys up to speed real quick. Um, um, hi, say hi. Hey! <laughs> so, all right, we're taking a trip out here. Um, it's been a nice long ride, but the time has just completely flown by real quick. We got some beautiful scenery out here, uh, snow in the ground, um, you know, nice rolling hills, woods. Um, we've seen some cows along the way, some horses along the way. Actually, seen looks like a goat, um, something like that. But um, anyways, yeah, we're out out here to go check out the trailer. Uh, again, trying to document journey of going from being like a suburbanite, urban dweller to literally going off the grid and trying to help you guys to learn some of the, um, you know, tips and tricks and pitfalls and successes and failures of, you know, what I go through. So hopefully if this is something that you feel kind of led to do and what you really want to do, you can learn from my experience to make your transition easier. So anyways, uh, go ahead and point out a little bit around the drive here. This is pretty right here. See, we're heading down the road. Oh, it's nice. Look at it. Beautiful. Max Bagley crap. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh, let's see if I can get this to zoom in a little bit. We are. That must. That's the dam he was talking about. Wow. That is cool. That is beautiful. That's awesome, man. Wow. And over here wow. on this side. Yeah, we are. Oh, found the cool. dam. <laughs> yeah, cold. Uh, I've oh, been uh, keeping touch with my uncle. He's uh, been giving us uh, directions. Got some directions to head out here, and you see we're heading down the road. This is uh, getting close to one o'clock. Um, this is a nice, fine Saturday. Crisp, cool air outside. We were nice and warm inside. It's and about, yeah, it was about like thirty outside. Thirty. Or something. something like that. Thirty. So, yeah, we're. It's been a really nice drive. We've been, uh, you know, talking along the way. Good conversation, good friends, good people, and uh, it's getting real close. I, you know, I have not seen this trailer, um, but it's a gift. It's been given to me, and I'm trying to make the best, you know, best uh, use of it I can to enjoy this experience and uh, this step in life, and just be grateful. Um, you see, up here we've got a tiny solar panel, which uh, we've talked about in other episodes of the podcast. Um, and so people wave to you in the country. Yeah, people wave. <laughs> Not them, but the one before I'm waved. Um, but yeah, I got a solar panel here. It's kind of basically a trickle charger. Um, oh, more scenery because it's it's really pretty out here. Um, say that's all good, man. Um, yeah, my friend Che and I, we're out here After in this. Four hundred yards, turn left. We're uh, really enjoying this trip and. Wow, look at that place. And another... That, that was part of uh, a log frame. Oh, man. You gotta excuse us. We are totally fascinated by these really cool old buildings, even though I they're... used to look at a city. Yeah. <laughs> we are so and deprived... This is the mountains, but this is... Just, I think this is the foothills. Yeah, we are so deprived of, you know, some... Yeah, we're just, like, totally there. enjoying this trip out here. Um, real quick... Styling, man. Holy smokes, man, that's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, you can, you can see it on the camera, too. Are you good? It's awesome looking, man. Okay, so let me nice. get back this uh, solar panel before I get off track again. Um, solar panel, tiny solar panel, you heard in the podcast, I picked up uh, some solar panels uh, a week or two ago and uh, got a phenomenal deal on them. Got a small battery here, which I've been charging with the trickle charger. Uh, along the way um, and this is for see my uncle said that there's wow look at the old stone foundation look at the stone foundations on these things man these are old yeah wow. trying to catch everything <laughs> um, so we are on our way um, look at the snow Levi this ain't 8 inches yeah it's going way down yeah well I talked to my uncle uh a couple days ago, he said they had eight inches of snow. It must be melting pretty quick, which is um, that's a that's 
great for us, a like great news, because um, like I said, everything's just kind of been counting down. I've been, you know, if you've been following the podcast, I've been counting down the days. This is day one and counting till I'm hopefully off the grid and this. Uh, let's see. That is neat. Um, so one day left. Uh, oh, wow, just like go down. There's like a little lake. Yep. Oh, cool. More distractions. Yeah. You gotta yeah. excuse us because we are from the city. We don't get to see this too often, and we love it. <laughs> I know some people are probably <laughs> like, "What?" Um. Oh well, I can deal. But yeah, one day in counting, and um, like I said, I have not seen this trailer. Uh. This is basically it's like it's like if somebody were to just give you a home, try to try to put your wrap your brain around that. You know, somebody gives you a house. And all you know, all you know, everything aside, that's essentially what it is. I mean it's it's bare bones, it's uh well not bare bones, but I've been told the trailer's in pretty good shape. But uh Well they get to find out with us what it looks exactly, like. Exactly, yeah, you get to check it out just as uh, we do. So uh, hopefully you guys share some of the excitement and joy and, and everything and um, so, anyways, I guess I'll kind of wrap it up and uh, catch a video, splice it back in once we get there. Uh, did work. You got that? Find the. He said the heater the and the air conditioner. That worked. Oh man, this thing is sweet. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, look at that. Dude, this is nice. Little bathroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all right. I will fix it. So we need, I need to take. Well, hold on. That's got a, yeah. Uh, it's got a propane tank. It's up to a propane tank inside of that cabinet. So he said he wants to keep the cool. I, he's keeping it. Yeah. I could get one of those. It's a looks pretty efficient. Let's see what we got here. All right, the propane tank is outside, so we can make sure that's cut off. Cool. And, then, and that looks like you just unscrew it. I'll go check it out. Yeah, you said you want. Anything else he wants to keep yeah. here? Uh, he, wanted, he wants the coffee maker, the coffee maker and the utensils and stuff that he's got in here. Uh, I imagine his boots too.